everyone, welcome. Good morning. Just made it. Just made it. Good morning, guys. Hope everyone is well. Welcome along to another stream. We are here at Edinburgh Airport in the fantastic Cowan Sim Bell 222 helicopter. We're going to be heading north. We ride north. We're going to be heading north to Aberdeen, guys. There's a bit of a VAT sim fly in today in Aberdeen. I think it's one of the first. Well, it probably won't be the first, but um, we don't get fly ins like these very often. This is uh, a helicopter fly in at Aberdeen Airport, which is the busiest. The busiest, the busiest heliport in the world. So, not anticipating the kind of numbers that we would get in Gatwick Midweek Madness or fly-ins to Kaitak or anything like that. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I've never actually flown into Aberdeen when there is ATC available. So I do have my charts and stuff like that on the go and ready for um, heading into Aberdeen the airspace. What we're going to do? We're going to simulate a rescue somewhere in the north of Scotland. So we'll be heading up. The weather's pretty gloomy in Scotland today, guys. It's not looking so good. and um, We have to stay VFR as well. So I'm not sure if we'll even get into this area. But we're going to try and do like a rescue somewhere in the near the Cairngorm Mountains, somewhere up around about here. And then we'll take the casualty from there out to Aberdeen Hospital. We'll be landing at the Aberdeen, I believe it's, yeah, Aberdeen Royal Infirmary is where we're going to be landing the aircraft and then we'll maybe come out do another one from the Royal Infirmary and bring them back and then fly up to the, the actual airport itself but we should have quite a lot of interactions with ATC today so it should be quite good shout out to the Captain's Club on um, YouTube good to see you Danny you fucking buster what's up young man flying the F-18 right now in DCS in a free period and loving it awesome brother what's up to Russell Campbell good to see you as well so welcome on board hello to the guys that are joining us on Twitch King Harry says, I like the bagpipe sound. Thank you very much, young man. Um, Nathan uh, says, there's uh, quite an early VATS, early VATSIM event. They're normally much later in the day. Also gloomy in Scotland. What's changed? We have shite weather. Yeah. I was actually trapped, um, not last night, but the night before. I was trapped in, um, on an avalanche. There was an avalanche on the A9. And it nearly fucking killed me. I um, was driving down the A9 in my truck. And a big, massive avalanche came down off a mountain. Um, it was like a hundred feet, hundred meters, sorry, wide and about twelve feet, fifteen feet high, and uh, yeah, I, d I didn't actually. I'll be honest, I didn't see it come onto the road, but I, I was like the, one of the first vehicles to get there. So if I'd been one or two minutes earlier, I might have been hit by this wall of snow. So I ended up having to sleep in my truck on the A9 on uh, Thursday night. I was st stuck in the truck for. Um, it happened at about ten o'clock. Yes, yeah, so I was stuck in my truck for about twelve hours on the A9, so that, that wasn't pleasant, so I'm glad to be home, I had a, I got home last night, had a hot bath, went to bed for about two hours, had a bit of a snooze, and then just had a relaxing night last night with some pizza, and then uh, I went to bed for 10 hours, dude, I slept for 10 hours, it was fucking brilliant, so I woke up feeling today fantastic today, feeling absolutely fantastic, right, but yeah, Avalanche nearly fucking got me, bro, Avalanche nearly took me out of the game, fucking hater Avalanche, right, so, um, we have ATC here at Edinburgh Airport. We will check the ATIS for Edinburgh. Information Foxtrot is current at this time. The runway in use is 06. Transition level 70. Surface winds are 070 at 17 knots. The visibility is 10 kilometres or greater. Overcast at 900 feet. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about with the um, the, the weather situation as we head north into the, the uh, highlands. Obviously, the, the ground starts coming up towards us, the AGL. Um, starts increasing so I'm not sure if we're even going to make it VFR into the Highlands so we'll see how that goes and um, we do have Edinburgh Tower online on 1187 so we'll check in with that bro and uh, say hello you guys may have noticed I'm sporting the new 104th Maverick swag I got um, one of these uh, new t-shirts coming I got some more t-shirts coming as well thanks to everybody that's already bought the merch Hyper says, have I been working out? I work out every single day, Hyper. This is actually, it's a, it's a large t-shirt as well. It's a, it is a little bit tight. I think the gun, the guns are getting a little bit. I'm work, I've been wor working on the guns. I had a bit of a workout session this morning, which is why I might be looking a little bit more buff than normal. What's up, Ryan Oliver Aviation? Hey, Maverick, you picked the best airport. Thank you very much, brother. What's up, Lozzy, you fucking buster? 
Uh, uh, good to see you, Lauren. A member of the Concord Captains Club, one of the top tier um, support. Good to see you, young lady. What a buster. You changed the badges. Massive, yeah. Um, shout out to my man, One Flu. I'm going to be changing them up a little bit more as well. At the moment, we just have um, bronze, silver, and gold. I want to get like uh, some more colours in there so that the gold ones for a little bit down the line. But, um, right, so let's just have a quick look here and get some battery power up in the aircraft. We're flying, like I said, we're flying the fantastic Collimata, the fantastic Cowan Sim. Bell 222, hide the tablet for now. A black instrument panel, ooh, nice. So we're in here, we don't have a Scottish Air Ambulance uh, skin for this aircraft just yet, but um, someone is working on this for me, slowly but surely, so we'll get there. Right, first thing we'll do is make sure that the, the rotor brake is actually fully off, because I usually always forget that. Um, and that alarm is telling me that the, there's a little bit of collective in, and I know why that is, that's because I haven't changed the throttle back to collective just yet. Side tech, do this, and change that from throttle to collective. And idle that, salted. All right, make sure that the force trim is set to on. We'll take the fuel pump for engine one with the prime, the fuel pump for engine two, with the Prime, uh, 1187. Hey Alfie, welcome back. Alfie's got Roblox at the end of his name on YouTube. I'm not sure if you're welcome here anymore, Alfie. <laughs> 1185. 1185. Right, let's um, find out where the incident is that we're going to be responding to. So... Uh, first thing I want to do is put in the code for the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary, which is X-Ray Echo Golf 003 Victor. X-Ray Echo Golf 003 Victor. Aberdeen Royal Infirmary, that is set. Um, we want the minimum distance, we'll say 40 miles, maximum distance 60 miles. We want it from somewhere bearing 360 to we'll say zero, three, zero. Zero. so that's basically going to give us a, an incident anywhere from like straight up north in this line to out here somewhere so we should get something around about here hopefully the ground altitude is not going to be too big there and we'll be able to get the aircraft in all right create mesh let me just check where this is on the map I did it, by the way. Don't say anything, says uh, Lozzy. Qua? What are you talking about, girl? Oh, this is actually a good one. This is just north of Dundee. This is near a town called Kerry Muir. Actually, just to the west of a shithole called Forfar. Uh, so I'll show you guys where that is on the map. It's a stone haven. There's Forfar there. So here's Forfar. The incident that we're responding to is in between Forfar and Curry Muir. So it's somewhere on, it's somewhere about here. It's, it's on this little road here. See this little, there's Forfar, Curry Muir. It's on this little road here somewhere. So we are heading um, north out of Edinburgh. We'll go out over the bridges. I'll show you guys the bridges on the way north. And then we're going out um, probably up over Glen Rothes, depending on what the weather looks like around here. We'll just go um, as the crow flies direct. Um, if the, the cloud cover is quite low, we might have to do a little dodge around by St Andrews, past RAF Lookers, in over Dundee, and then up north of Dundee, up towards Forfar. So the incident we're responding to, guys, is a motorbike and a van. There has been a road collision. A biker has been rear-ended by a van and is in critical condition with serious internal bleeding and head injuries. Paramedics are trying to sedate the patient now so he can be flown to the hospital as soon as possible. We have been tasked with getting to the scene as fast as we can to be ready for the patient once he is stable enough to fly. Make sure you know exactly where we are going. I've just checked that. And also what route we are going to take to the hospital. Any delays on our end could cost this man his life. We have 53 minutes to make it there. Hey Lee, good to see you big dog, welcome. Thanks Pata. Hello to Obstinus. Wolf Tango Fox, welcome guys. Jackie. 
Yeah, that's Jackie, and that's what that says. Hello to uh, Roger uh, Django. Um, it's Rotter. Hello to my main man, Lee Russell, another member of the Captain's Club, joining us on YouTube. Good to see you, sir. Alfie says, I'll switch my account. Made that one way too long ago. <laughs> um, this is War Thunder, says... Uh, Laura, you alright, Lauren? You okay? You're gonna get poked in the eye, young lady, if I get any more of your cheek. You'll get poked in both eyes. Boop. Right, let's get this engine up and running. Let's go. Forum. I'm assuming you've made a forum, a forum account after uh, what we are talking about last night. You got your finger out, did you? That was a... That was a that was an acute disappointment. That's what that was. Alright, let's have a look at the anti-collision light. The position light. We'll need the uh, seatbelt signs, the cabin lights, and no smoking signs. And we have the fuel primers on. We'll go ahead and take the starter for engine number one. We're now looking for 10% on NG on one. And we have it. We'll go ahead and put a little bit of uh, throttle in. Just a smidge smidge schmoo. Rotor should start turning. Very slowly. <laughs> not all the time. Not not consistently, Lauren, so that's okay. Alright, we're looking for 44% now. We have it. Go to idle stop on one. I'm on the right frequency here. 1187 I should be on, not 1185. Right, what do we have? It was Fox Trot, wasn't it? Push and start approved. Push and start approved. Right, right, one, three. Okay, one is up. We'll take the fuel primer off. We can take the inverter for one on, the generator for one on. Zero six, my alpha one. Uh, clear takeoff, um, yeah. <laughs> Shut from like you. Clear takeoff, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll go for the starter on engine number two now. Do you have any friends at Verpol? Get my order pushed. Sadly not, young lady. I'll send them an email saying, hey, I'm 104th Maverick. One of my friends is waiting on some uh, products. Get your ass moving. That should do it. Those guys will obviously already know who I am. Alright, 10% on two. A little bit of fuel. Don't have a ground controller here. Subject two nine oh six seven stand. Okay, stable at forty odd percent. We can go for idle stop on two. Hey Domo, good afternoon to you, sir. You bought the throttle laws, nice. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Wara. Depends what I'm doing, mate. If I'm flying helicopters, I prefer X plane. If I'm flying jets, I prefer uh, DCS. Hey, Shifty, good afternoon to you, sir. Coffee from my new mug. Thank you so much. Shifty bought a Maverick mug, guys. I got my new 104th Maverick t shirt on, which is the same logo that Shifty's got. So I got another one coming. I got a, I got a white one coming, and I got a black one coming as well. Thank you so much for that, Shifty. I, I got a picture from um, Trevor. Trevor. I got a picture from Cutlass showing me his one as well. Right. Uh, fuel primer off for two. Generator. Sorry, inverter on. Generator on. We take hydraulics for one and two now. Scottish 135525525 uh, 520, five, remember that? Uh, for 75. 135 decimal 525. Right, we want a VFR departure via the, uh, let me have a look here, via the Bridges and Kelty VRP. Alright, let's talk to this guy. 
Emerald Tower, good afternoon to you, Helimed 79er Alpha. Hi, good afternoon sir. We are a Bell 222 helicopter with you here at the helipad. Information Foxtrot's on board. We're responding to an Alpha call in the northeast. We'd like a VFR departure out of the uh, controlled airspace via the 4th Bridges VRP routing to the Kelty VRP from our current position. Helimed 79er Edward Tower, Roger. Start the first clip from via the hold. Okay, we're actually ready to go at this time, so if possible, we'd like to lift from the helipad and start routing directly north via our Helimed 79er. Helimed 79er, Roger, something. Alright, just waiting on a squat code. Alright, let's get the uh, engines beeped up to idle. Ready for taxi, right air 813. Right air 813, stand by. Okay, we're looking for a hundred percent, and we have it. Oh, ninety-eight percent. That looks like one more. But we're actually looking for a hundred and two percent because we're going out on a Category Alpha departure. The wind is um, not registering right now. I have on Foxtrot is telling me that the winds are zero seven zero at seventeen knots. So we're definitely not going to be able to take off into the crosswind here. I'm going to have to turn the aircraft zero seven zero. So we'll taxi forward a little bit. That is behind me. Ready, they were three taxi holding point Alpha 1 via Echo and Alpha. Taxi holding point Alpha 1 via Echo and Alpha, right area 1 3. Okay, we're facing into wind. Helmet 7 minor, that'll be a few minutes, I just need to wait on the eclipse from Scottish. Helmet 7 minor Alpha, that's Odyssey. So if you're just joining us guys, we are heading um, from Edinburgh Airport, we're responding to an emergency up in Forfar, just to the west of Forfar, which is up here. So we are taking the casualty to the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. It's a road traffic collision between a biker and uh, that has been re-rendered by a van and is in critical condition with serious internal um, bleeding and internal injuries. There is a VATSIM flying event today at Aberdeen, which is why we're heading up to the Don, as they call it, locally. We're just waiting on clearance. We're just waiting on a tower coordinating our clearance with Scottish Control. And we'll be heading to that extra means me I'll get Scottish Control preset. It's gonna be 135525. Set. What's up, banana here, you buster? Good to see you, big dog. Bonjour, Mr. Parsons. Bonjour mon ami, bienvenue. Ça va? I don't know if the van driver's okay, Top. Oh no. I don't know, brother. I think the van driver's fine. The van driver crashed into the fucking. More bike guy. Fuck the van driver, bro. <laughs> Well, the guy's bleeding to death and we're sitting here waiting on air traffic control clearance, but that's just part of the job, guys. Unfortunately, it's we don't get priority clearance on VATSIM just because we are an alpha prefix. It doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. Otherwise, the whole place would just be full of 14-year-old ro Roblox flyers all flying around with uh, alpha one, after the concert. Uh, the aircraft ahead of me is now gone. Uh, I suppose we get some spot checks done while we're up here, mind you. Spot turns in a 17 knot wind might not be a great idea, let's find out. Alright, nose wheel up. Take the left wheel off the ground first. Oh, hello, ED 86 Kilo, I can stand on 6 type 8 3 I think it's the right wheel off the ground first, actually. Uh, judging by that, how that felt. Alright, we'll go for the right first. Looks good, feels good. Let's go check the wind. It doesn't feel like the wind's coming from the 17 knots. 
I was expecting to be pushed around a lot more than I am at the moment. Catching down. Alright, let me check my active sky. Ah, oh, that's why I don't even fucking have active sky open, you fucking buster, Maverick. Alright, watch the weather go tits up now. The weather's gonna go nipples north, guys. Hold on to your butts. Hey, it is, um, it is Airwolf indeed shifted. This is the Cowan Sim Bell 222 helicopter. It's a fantastic little flying machine. I know you don't have X-Plane, brother, but if you ever do get it, this is a fantastic little aircraft. It's probably my main squeeze at the moment in terms of um, X-Plane helicopters. I really enjoy the JRX design Gazelle, the SA-342, but um, yeah, this is, this is right up there with the Gazelle as far as I'm concerned. The autopilot on this aircraft is fantastic as well. Hey, Schneckel, you buster. Good to see you, brother. Hello to Mystic. Welcome along. Meanwhile, our patient's bleeding to death, bro! Tower Helibed 79, what a delay can we expect from here, sir? Helibed 79, I'm unsure I'm Roger. Oh, sure. He's not that busy. Okay, uh, gonna get yelled, be maximum five minutes. Roger. Probably too busy dancing in his chair. <laughs> Hey Steve, welcome along. What's up, She? Welcome, my friend. Oi, oi! What's up, Darren? Good to see you, brother. Time for a bacon sandwich, says Diesel. Oh my god, bro, I'd love a bacon sandwich. Those days are over, I'm afraid, sir. Those days are over. Hello, music song, welcome. Hyper says the Gazelle is probably my favourite helicopter on Twitch. Yeah, I like the Gazelle. It's a really good aircraft to throw around an X-plane as well. It's um, good fun in DCS. Best thing you can do in DCS, in my opinion, is shoot down fast jets in a helicopter. That's great fun. Really enjoyed doing it in the Gazelle. Looking forward to uh, doing it in the Kiowa as well. Yeah, he's fucking too busy reading chat from fucking 14-year-olds to do his job. Hurry up, Jamie, you fucking buster! He's not even got that many aircraft in his fucking airspace. Can't even handle a VFR fucking departure, for fuck's sake. Hey, dead please, welcome back. Good fucking need to refuel before we take off at this rate. Charge him for the fuel. Fucking waste of time. Hell, that seven nine no. It's Scottish. It's too busy at the moment. I don't VFR. Okay, all right. We're going to lift from our current position then, and we'll just VFR without ATC to the north via the Fourth Bridges and Kelty. Hell, I made seven nine We're lifting now. Oh, that was, that was bad. Oh, 
I know that a gear's coming up for fuck's sake. We don't need to disconnect just because the controller can't handle VFR traffic, sir. If you can just clear us across the threshold, we'll just fly north um, VFR on Unicom, LMF 79er. Subject to the 6-7 contact of Scottish control, 135 decimal 135 or 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 35 or Come on, kid, for fuck's sake. Alright, this kid just fuck this. I'm not, I'm not fucking hanging around. This kid doesn't know what he's doing. It's not to come in any land anyway. Tower so Hellman 7 9. We're going to QSY on a Unicom, sir. Enjoy your afternoon. Fucking can't, I have to disconnect from the network because Jamie can't handle VFR. Fuck no. What a fucking joke. Alright, you can come up now. Dan says, what about the weather map? It's crazy in Fife, dude. Yeah, we're sort of anticipating it to be a, a bit rough. Go ahead and squawk mode, Charlie. Uh, yeah, the, we the weather's pretty crazy down here as well. When's the next Armour Free Stream? I don't know. Might be that German guy who got busted for impersonating ATC, says Django. I've never heard about that, brother. Lives are at stake, says Dallister. You're goddamn right. I don't think... I, I, Edinburgh is a training airport, guys, so... Maybe the young man's just not to 100% with... Uh, yeah, I don't need clearance from him to... I only need clearance from him to leave the zone. I don't need clearance from him to fly north. I'm very, very surprised that he was told I will have to disconnect because Scottish can't handle VFR traffic right now. That is not how VATSIM works, guys. Basically, all that means is that I, I can't get a service from ATC. Doesn't mean I can't fly on the fucking network because the controller's too busy. We're going to Forfar, Darren. We're going to just outside, um, in between Forfar and Currymuir, my friend. We are um, attending an incident around about in this location here. There's Forfar, there's Currymuir. We are heading up that way. Alright, what was the altimeter? I didn't even fucking set that. 1016. Alright, trim his life. One zero one five, one zero one six is set. Have you only bound cyclic and joystick movements for the helicopter? I have the cyclics on the joystick, young man. Collectives on the throttle here on my left hand side. The rudder pedals are also on the joystick as well. I don't need, yeah, I don't need to talk to Scottish anyway. 
I always have quite, well, to a certain extent, I know I lost a bit of patience back there, but to a certain extent, I always have a lot of patience when I'm flying out of Edinburgh because it is a training airport. It's where va uh, new VATSIM controllers come to learn how to be va um, controllers on the network, so you, quite often you get them telling you stuff that's incorrect or wrong or inaccurate. But yeah, I've never been told that I'll have to disconnect from the network because a controller is too busy to handle VFR. That, that is not a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Darren could look out his front window and see the bridges. Nice, dude. I used to be able to when I, before I moved house. Alright, we're rooting for the Kelty VRP now. What we'll probably do is just follow the M90 North. Uh, depending on how the cloud cover... Cloud cover doesn't look too bad up range, to be honest. I don't think it's going to cause us any issues. Fingers crossed. What's up, Pixie, you Russian-loving fucking buster? Welcome on board, sir. Yeah, Felix, that's why I, I, I kind of lost a little bit of patience there. Felix says, can't the tower just clear you out of the zone anyway? Yeah, I don't need any permission from the tower to uh, enter airspace that's outside of his control. That is not how that works, sir. But never mind, we're on our way anyway, guys. It's a little bit of a delay, but we're, we're, we're getting there slowly, surely. Monty says it's not Jamie. I think you'll find it is, son. There's only one Scottish controller on right now, and it is young Jamie. Squidging. Come on, Squidging, you buster. Squidgen says, loving the facial hair, it suits you. Are you going to grow out a little? No, bro, I just got stuck in a truck. I'm just not out of shave. I meant to get up a little bit earlier than I did today. But thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hey, welcome, John McCarthy. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much for your kind words on YouTube. Thanks to Jack as well. Congratulations on 20,000 subs. Thank you very much, brother. So we've got like 30,000 subs across YouTube and uh, Twitch now. I don't know how that happened, guys. 30,000 followers slash subs with the most aggressive fucking stream oh. on, available on the internet. Yeah, so if you're just joining us, Nearly got killed by a fucking avalanche, guys, two nights ago. I'll chuck on the autopilot, I'll show you the picture of it. So I was driving down the A9 in my truck, and a big fucking wall of snow um, came down in front of me and blocked off the road. If I'd arrived like one or two minutes earlier, it might have killed me. We were out and heading. Oh, not that one, not that one, not that one! No! Fucking right, caution, woman. <laughs> terrain, terrain. Don't sink. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Right, that one and that one. Right, let me get this picture up for you guys. Right, click on that link and click on this link so if you see it doesn't look when you look at it you think oh that doesn't look so bad but look at the uh, look at the people look at the emergency service guys that are standing on top of the snow pile then you'll get an idea of just how much snow fell onto the road 
So that happened like one or two minutes before I arrived at it. Yeah, so yeah. That was pretty fucking scary. So I was stuck there for 12 hours. And for about two of those hours, two and a half, three of those hours, I was stuck in the same position as well, right at the foot of the avalanche. So we were all just sitting there looking at the mountain, just waiting for the next avalanche to come down. Luckily it didn't happen. Then I had to reverse a couple of miles down the A9 because I was driving a, an articulated truck. There was no room for us to turn around. So me and quite a lot of other truck drivers had to reverse up the A9 to find spaces and laybys away from um, potential avalanche danger zones. And then I had to sleep in the fucking truck. I had to stay parked up for nine hours. It was horrible. There, there was such a huge storm. Uh, the truck was getting barred around all night. And then once they cleared the avalanche, I had snow plows going past all night. And um, when the snow plows would go past, it would like hit the side of the truck with a big wall of snow from the snow plow, pushing all the snow out of the way. And it sounded like someone throwing like 200 snowballs at the side of the truck, scared the fucking shit out of me every single time. <coughs> I'm a class one uh, driver, Captain E Dog, yeah. I drive 44 ton trucks in Scotland. We didn't spoon for body heat, Alistair, no. <laughs> Sadly, there, there was no attractive young lady stuck with me. It was all overweight, middle aged men. What's up, fearless, you fucking buster? Good morning to you, sir. We are on our way to the highlands of Scotland, attending to a road traffic collision. And then we're going to Aberdeen Royal Infirmary for an ATC event up there on Vatsim. I believe it is starting very soon. Thanks for your service, Mav. Guys like you keep the country rolling and are underappreciated, says Darren, on YouTube. You're very welcome, my friend. I mean, they fucking pay me to do it, so. But yeah, it was bullshit. It was a horrible night. A very horrible long night, dudes. Every time like I started nodding off, a big massive gusty wind would hit the truck. So yeah, I was glad to be home. Slept for 10 hours last night. Oh, Danister is Danny P. Good to see you, brother. It's Danny P. I've started streaming and the numbers is my username. Pissed me off. Danister P. I started streaming and the numbers in my username pissed. Oh, right, sorry, sorry, I get you, bro, I get you. Good old Danister. I'm, I'll need to check that, I'll need to check out the channel. My man Danister P on Twitch is the guy that made the uh, absolutely fantastic intro for us. So I might not have heard the volume properly there with the uh, helicopter flying by, but. Yeah, shout out to my main man, Danny. Made the world's best intro. Thank you so much for that, bro. Right, I'm going to start heading as the crow flies now. We'll maybe go through this little gap in the terrain up ahead on the left. Looks like we should be able to just squeeze under this cloud cover. Hey, we're not following the roads at the moment, Felix. No, we are flying pretty much direct. Looks like we're going to head in the clouds a little bit here on the drop a little bit of altitude. Uh oh.
This is worst case scenario, guys. I always start instantly panicking whatever we're in I am seeing a helicopter. I fucking hate it. What I really should do is actually start practicing flying I am seeing a helicopter. All right, don't let the aircraft get too slow. Let's start just descending gently. Oh, I hate this, dude. I fucking hate doing this. It's so much more difficult than flying IMC in fixed wing. Not so bad once you've got plenty of airspeed on, but when the aircraft's slow, it's fucking dangerous. All right, I know that we're above the MSA for this altitude, this uh, location, so I am just descending very gently here. Hey, we're out yet. Thank fuck for that. Alright, heading towards Dundee. This is the River Tay coming up on the left. Hey, yeah, Jack. Uh, everything was okay. There was a van driver, actually, that got um, pushed over. So right right where I was parked, about, about a mile up the road from where I was parked, there was a poor guy in a van got flipped over because the, the wind was that strong and knocked his uh, vehicle over. But luckily, no, no one was injured or killed in the avalanche. But I'd never seen anything like that before, guys. Never seen an... I knew we get avalanches in Scotland, but I thought it was all, like, way up on the high mountains and stuff, like Ben Nevis and things, but... I've never seen an avalanche close a road in Scotland. And I, I showed up to the avalanche, like, literally one or two minutes after it had happened. Start putting on some power now and start moving. Close to Mr. Squidgen's home, nice. Alright, that audible warning telling me, hey, Broster, you got just a little bit too much collective on. We'll throttle that back just a little bit. Oh no! We had a landslide in August at Petticur Bay. It rolled a static down the hill. The guy was sleeping inside. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I didn't really get a good sleep the other night. It just was totally paranoid another avalanche was going to come down the hill. I was parked on a reasonably flat bit, but still. Yeah. Par the paranoia was rife. But I think I've got a picture of the van that was pushed over. If you bear with me a little moment, I will try and find that for you guys. Should we keep flying the aircraft? Alright, there you go guys, that's a picture of the uh so ju just as like I was legally allowed to start driving again, I was making my way down the A9 and that was that poor guy was just about a, a mile from where I was parked. So this is Dundee up in front of us. Just coming up to the, passing the Tay Bridge. How do you know where to go? It's 
so we have a little nav map program called Little Nav Map. So basically what happens is we um, use the helicopter rescue mod plugin and that generates the mission and then we open the mission using the little nav map and that shows me where the incident scene is and what the flight path is to the hospital. So you can see here that we took off from Edinburgh Airport, we've made our way um, up via the fourth bridge, in Kelty VRP and we've sort of just been dodging in between the terrain and stuff. We're just passing to the west of uh, Dundee and Brody Castle VRP and now we're heading up towards Currymuir. There's Sunny Dundee in the Kingdom of Fife. Good to see you, Mac. Welcome on board, sir. Divert to our broof. It's not default scenery, Bob. No, this is the Orbex. This is Orbex Scotland, my friend. I have the full Orbex scenery for the entire United Kingdom. Dundee is not in faith. Since when? Pretty sure Dundee's in faith, bro. Am I tripping? I thought Dundee was in Fife. Don't don't tell me there's such a thing as Dundee Shire. Is that is that right? Jack on YouTube says, "Hey man, next stream, can you please do a Qantas video?" Negatory. Sorry, brother. I only fly Concorde. I also don't take requests, Jack. We'll find the lowest part of this terrain here, which looks just on our left hand side. We'll thread the needle through there. Fife ends at T, says DJ. I don't give a fuck about Fife or Dundee, Ken. I don't know these things. But I thought, um, uh, yeah, I thought Dundee was in Fife, bro. So what's Dundee in then? What region? Tayside! Ah, that makes sense. Thanks Darren on Twitch, save me. Five stops before Dundee. Roger. doing for time we have 29 minutes to make it there we should be there in the next five minutes so 25 minutes to find this poor guy should be fine not with too much pace on scenery looks fantastic up here though almost as good as uh, flight sim 2020 not quite though i watched my main man cutlass flying around these neck of the woods in 2020 it was fantastic Ascot on Twitch says Dundee is the capital of Fife. Ab DJ Kid says Aberdeen is where it's at. That's where we're going, sir. We're taking this patient to the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. Somebody Google Dundee. Lookers or some places like that is the end of Fife, says Darren. I need somebody on the Google. Somebody Google Dundee. And tell me what that says. Darren says it's not the capital of Fife. The guy is drunk. To be fair, I think he's reading that from a website or something like that. Squidgen says, I think it's just Dundee and Angus, Roger. There's a lot of ambiguity about the uh, locality of Dundee, guys. I'll be honest, I didn't think this topic was going to be so complex.
Hey man, welcome back. What would you say is the best helicopter game, bro? Depends what you want to do, really, dude. Depends what you want to do. If you want to fly rescue helicopters, X-Plane 11. If you want to shoot at stuff, uh, DCS. I can see flashing lights on the horizon, guys. Incident spotted, ladies and gentlemen. Right, the terrain looks pretty fat. Up the, the terrain looks pretty flat around here, so we're going to just have a quick orbit around, see if we can see any high tension power cables, any obstacles close there. But it looks like pretty, it's looks pretty straightforward landing, to be honest here, guys. Start trimming the aircraft up. Start trimming. Start winning. All right, trim reset. Gear down. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any power cables or telephone cables or power lines or anything like that running down the side of the road. Looks like the road's closed as well. I don't see any traffic coming up or down the road. The winds are 090 at 16 knots. So we're going to come around to the west and approach it from the west heading east. The gear is down free green, so we'll go ahead and beep the rotor RPM up to 102%. That is checked. It looks like this landing on an uh, easterly heading is going to work out. It looks like the road is actually going almost exactly east, which is going to work now. In fact, that's not true at all. So the, our nose is in a wind about here. So it looks like we're crabbing in. So don't get too fantastic here, Maverick. Just nice and easy. Good forward transition. Keep the forward trend coming. Careful with the VRS envelope as we approach it. The gear is down. Free greens. I can see it. The engine RPM is good. The rotor RPM is selected to 102%. Looking good. Feeling good. Happy with the rate of descent. Happy with the forward trend. Keep her coming. Don't get too close to the police car. We're good on the left. We're good on the right. Coming just on a smidge forward, and we want the uh, stabilizing the ground effect and touching down. Gently lower the collective, center the cyclic, and the pedals. Touching down. Oh, we should be able to see the casualty lying on the ground. I made all this, guys. I done all this. I made all this. Shout out to my man uh, Cutlass who skinned the ambulances for me. Shout out to my man uh, Chimera who helped with the, ambu the uh, ambulance cars. But we should see this guy despawn on the ground once he gets in the helicopter. Hey, there it is. All right, so he is in now. The patient is ready to go. We have to be quick with this one. He's in very bad shape and needs to get to the trauma room right away. He is sedated, so won't feel the bumps. Get us to hospital as fast as you possibly can. You are fucking... Affirmative. Roger that, sir. Roger that. Alright, let's get the rotor RPM back up. Idle stop. Hey, Borchi, you buster. Welcome on board, sir. Yeah, sell it to charity, brother. So... Just quickly pause and ex just quickly explain this. This this helicopter rescue missions mod, guys. Right, this is available for free. You can um, buy it. You can buy it. You can get it for free from. Hold on. Ah, fuck it. If you just go to Google and type in helicopter rescue mod X Plane Eleven, you can get this mod for free. But it only comes with about five or six incidents that you can respond to. I'm a member of a a team called the Charity Scenery .uk team. What is the one I'm looking for here? Helipad, heliport. Hey, there's there. So I'm a member of the charity scenery.co.uk team, guys, and we raise money for air ambulance charities in the United Kingdom. So what I did once I found this mod is I edited this mod so that it would be all suited for um, rescue missions in the United Kingdom. So I got some help from some 3D artists who helped skin the ambulances and the fire engines and stuff like that. Um, you can 
it is, this mod is now payware, but it only costs one pound. One pound or one euro or one dollar, whatever it, whatever it is you are in the world. I don't make any money from this, guys. Neither does anybody at the website make any money from it. All the money that you is raised through the sale of this mod and other helicopter scenery that's available on the website, charityscenery.co.uk. It all goes to charities, guys. It all goes to air ambulance charities in the United Kingdom. So, um... I spent about a week of my life basically recoding the mod so that we could get um, all these incidents that were suitable to the United Kingdom. So like I said, you only got about five or six incidents w with the default mod. I've created this mod that now has about 40 or 40 or 50 different incidents that you can respond to. Um, so yeah, it only, like I said, only cost you one euro or one dollar from the, the website charityscenery.co.uk All the money goes to charity guys, we're helping saving lives, so you can save lives on your computer Help save lives in real life as well guys, check it out, charityscenery.co.uk Can we add blood in there? No. Doesn't need to be that realistic, bro. Okay, rotor RPM to 100%. We'll take rotor RPM to 102% now. <coughs> Excuse me. 101... <coughs> 102... Fucking hell. <coughs> Get away from me, COVID, you buster. Alright, 102% is checked. We're clear on the left, we are clear on the right. We'll take a category alpha departure, so we'll come back and left, the nose is still into wind, we'll get the nose wheel up first. And I actually want the... Well, the wind's kind of pushing me a little bit to the left, so I'm going to take the left wheel off the ground first. Right now we've just got the main gear on the ground with the nose wheel in the air. So I'll go ahead and get the left wheel off the ground first, stabilise any ground effect. Engine RPM is good, roar RPM is still good. We are clear on the left, we're clear on the right. Let's come back and left. Hundred and fifty. There's 200 R. Stick forward, pedal left. Check left, stick left, gear up please. Okay, we are through ETL now. Rotor RPM back to 100%. Checked. Fly away. All right, we're heading for the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary, guys. Oh, a blood-covered motorbike. <laughs> I deliver blood to air ambulances from the hospitals as a charity, says Bandera on Twitch. Thank you very much for your service, sir. I don't know if any of those models are available for me, but I'll have a look. Okay, the gear is up. The rotor RPMs return back to 100%. We are heading to Aberdeen. We have a 41 nautical mile flight to get to the Royal Infirmary. Trim is life. Alright, we want to get our radar up above 500, so we'll start climbing up now. My main man Geo's in here. Good to see you. Welcome back, sir. It's been a little while. An excellent cause, if I do say so myself. Thank you very much, sir. I'm glad I could support you and your colleagues. My main man Geo is actually a, a HEMS pilot in real life. He's a rescue helicopter pilot in the United Kingdom in real life. So we're doing this to help him and his colleagues to try just try and help. I know it's only a little thing, guys. I know we're not raising millions of pounds, but... Every, every, every little bit of money we can raise genuinely does go to help saving lives. A thoroughly good cause, I think.
And it's good fun as well, it's a lot of fun. That's my favourite saying as well. Help save lives on your computer. Help save lives in real life, guys. Check it out. Get to that goddamn website, you fucking buster. CharityScenery.co.uk, guys. Get along. If you have X-Plane 11 or the prepared um, simulators you can buy. We don't have the helicopter rescue mod for prepared. It's only for X-Plane 11 at this stage. We are working on... Uh, not right now, but the plan is in the near future to have the... Hell, it's called the UK Air Ambulance mod, where we're hoping to bring it out for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 once we actually get helicopters in that game. But you can buy um, helicopter scenery for London and other places in the United Kingdom for the X-Plane Simulator and also the Prepared Simulator. Hello to Alistair Smith, you buster. Welcome on board, sir. Alright, so we're on our way to the dawn. We're on our way to Aberdeen. No jokes. My poor brothers and sisters in Aberdeen always get a lot of stick. This is X Plane Bandera, yeah. What happens to your patient, says Jack. He goes to the hospital, brother. He's in the back of the aircraft right now. The patient is ready to go. We have him on board. So we have. Um, 47 minutes to get him to the hospital, which is more than enough time. Why is my nose so fucking itchy, bro? Are there any sceneries for Northern Ireland, Ashe? I think that's included in the Orbex pack, sir, but I'm not 100%. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that, my friend. Jack just said, I donated to the charity now 60 bucks. God damn it, Jack! Thank you so much for your support, sir. Like I said, we're doing good things, guys. Make sure you check out the website. You don't even have to buy anything. You could just be like my main man Jack there and just head over and just... Even a $1 donation, guys, helps to save lives. It's an expensive business running rescue helicopters in real life. Why is my nose so itchy? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Coked out my nut at one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> hey Fabio, good day to you sir, welcome. See if we can get a bit more ground speed out of the aircraft. I see some terrain up ahead. I think we'll go to the we'll go to the right. Seems like the safest option here. Hey Jack, welcome back, sir. Another member of the Captain's Club on YouTube's joined us. Good to see you again, my friend. Welcome. I've been working all week, guys, which is why I haven't had any streams midweek, I'm afraid. I was planning to do some streams yesterday afternoon, but I got trapped in my truck on the A9. On Thursday night, I had to sleep in a goddamn truck on the A9 because I got trapped by a fucking avalanche. Excuse me. I think I might try and get a cheeky coffee in, guys. Oh, Bandera says I just donated fifty pounds too on the Twitch website. God damn it! Thank you so much, guys. Holy shit, we've raised like over a hundred bucks already in this stream. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, it all goes to a good cause. No one makes any profit from this apart from the rescue helicopter charity. So your money's going to good places, guys. CharityScenery.co.uk, you goddamn busters. Thank you so much to Bandere. Bandere, sorry, I beg your pardon. And to Jack Bennett. Thank you so much, guys. That is very kind of you. I'm sure the money will go on fuel. <laughs> yeah, the uh, air ambulance charity, especially this with all the stuff that's going on right now, the added pressure of having to 
deal with all the, do you know what I mean, the, the, all the stress and all the pressure of operating a, a rescue helicopter, plus on top of all the COVID drama on top of that as well, can't be easy, can't be easy at all, so thank you so much guys, your money's going to a good place, you're doing good things. Hello to Dougal McTavish, the most Scottish sounding person I have ever heard. The most Scottish sounding name I've ever heard, sorry. Good to see you, Mr. McTavish. This isn't a concourse, sir. Well spotted, Dougal. Hey, nothing gets past this guy. Fucking Johnny Hawkeye over here. Good to see you, Dougal. Geo says, with these donations, it'll be a lobster fermador for the crew tonight. Hopefully none of your donations are going towards lobster meals for those fucking busters that fly the aircraft in real life. But hey, I'm not judging them. I'm really looking forward to that as well, Bandair. Helicopters and Microsoft Flights in 2020 are going to be incredible. The scenery in 2020 is just amazing. So really looking forward to actually flying some uh, rotary VFR around the place. I'm not much of a fixed-wing VFR fan. What truck am I driving, asked Jack. At the moment, I drive DAF trucks. Delta Alpha Foxtrots. Oh, we got a Hawk coming out of Prestwick. Some young man probably watching the stream. Looks like he's heading straight towards me to buzz me. Oh, no, he might have, he's doing circuits at Lucas. Hey Pierre, welcome back. I don't have any recommendations for those Bandera, no sorry brother. I don't use pedals dude, I use a twist on my stick. Do I need to actually fix that camera view there? Alright hold on, let me get a little bit of attitude because I, I do want to make a coffee. So just make sure we're clear. The well, weather's actually not too bad up here guys. Our next rescue, we might fly into the Cairngorm Mountains. See if we can get a rescue on the A9 where I was uh, snowed in on a fucking avalanche. Hey Blatt, welcome along. Darren on YouTube says, I bought a jet for Microsoft Flight. Was it the Eurofighter? I've seen a video of it. I mean, it looks basic as fuck. But that looks like good fun, dude. Bombing around Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in a Eurofighter. I might be down for that. Right, that'll do for altitude now. A thousand feet. Trim his life. Get the autopilot back in. Heading. Right, let me try and fix this camera so you guys can see more clearly what is going on. Alright guys, I'm going to make a quick coffee, I'll be right back. Aaron, good afternoon. Darren says, yes, it was a Eurofighter. Yeah, dude, I've seen a video of it on YouTube. It looks, uh, ah, it, like I said, it looks basic as fuck. Nowhere near DCS fidelity, but, um, yeah. I think I might just buy it, just, just to bomb around. Just hashtag YOLO around the place. It'd be good fun, I think. Captain says, just finished my coffee and now drinking my juice. Strawberry and banana. Actually, oh, I put it in the bin already. I just finished a, a smoothie last night, a strawberry and banana one. Geo says, in all seriousness, £100 is awesome and goes a long way. That will cover the cost for the drugs for a typical patient. There you go, guys. Straight from the horse's mouth. A, a real-life rescue pilot from the United Kingdom is in the stream right now on YouTube. 
And you heard it straight from the horse's mouth. A hundred pounds will probably cover the cost of the medical um, requirements for the average patient. So there you go, guys. You're doing good things. Keep the donations coming. Charityscenery.co.uk, you fucking bastard. Quick, someone grab the stick, says Mac. Don't worry, bro. I'm a trained professional, Mac. What do you think this is again? I am a trained professional, sir. Hey, Haggis is here. Good to see you, Haggis. What's up, Ralphie? Welcome on board. Yeah, we're doing... We're, welcome, Haggis. We are flying up to Aberdeen, my friend. We're actually raising quite a lot of money for charity in the process. So, generally, that we've... Thanks to my man, um, Jack, and my man, Bandera, we're already up a past the £100 mark. We're on our way to the Stonehaven VRP, and then from there we're going north to the, the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. We are in the cow, the fantastic, frankly, Cow and Sim Bell 222, guys. Make sure you give Cow and Sim a bit of love as well. Fantastic developer. Oh, flying for some rain. Yeah, click on this link, guys. Check them out. Cowandsim.com. Great piece of kit. Dingo Bob says there's a fee at G91 by Sim Skunk Works on the Sim Market that's much better quality on the MSFSFSFSFSFSFs. Similar to the MB339. I have no idea what those are, Dingo. Talk to me, big dog. What the hell is a fee at G91, sir? Jack says thanks. Can you do a Scottish dance? Come on, Jack, I've already told you, sir. I don't do the quests. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Maybe just for you, since you donated 60 bucks to charity. I'll think about it. Geo says, spent many years flying in that part of the world, the Stonehaven VRP, and then up to the dawn. Yeah, that is where we are going right now, my friend. Inbound. Stony poos. And it's just a short little hop up to Aberdeen from there. Have I got the time wrong for this fucking Vatsim event, guys? I don't see any tower controllers or anything on for Aberdeen. Let's have a quick look at the website here. Up and coming events, Vatsim. Oh, it's from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Ah, so technically it started eight minutes ago. Roger that. I'm going to be on for a little while anyway, guys. I'll probably be streaming for... How long I'll be streaming for at the moment? One hour, 17 minutes. Yeah, probably do about a three or four hour stream today. Welcome Al Joker on Twitcheroo. Good to see you, sir. Uh, Jack, so Jack... Jack's asking on YouTube, can we donate here as well on YouTube? Um, if you donate on YouTube, you're donating to me. I would rather that you go to... Because I'll just spend your money on drugs, bro. I will spend your money on cocaine and prostitutes. So I would rather that you guys went to the charityscenery.co.uk website and just had a little look around. Snoop around. That's my man Ace Ventura once said. Go ahead, snoop around. 
So check out the website guys, charityscenery.co.uk. See if there's something there that you want to buy. There's scenery for X-Plane and Prepared. We also have the fantastic UK Air Ambulance scenery that I made myself. That <laughs> you can check that out, you can buy that. All the money raised goes to charity, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, And if there's nothing there that you want to buy, maybe you could just donate one, two, five, ten dollars to the website and that'll go to um, Air Ambulance Charities in the United Kingdom, guys. Save lives on your computer. Help save lives in real life. Hey Banderas joined us on YouTube as well. Welcome sir. Yeah, if you're watching on Twitch guys, do me a favour. Do me a solid if you're watching on Twitch. Head over to the YouTube channel. Hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the stream. Maybe even subscribe if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. It doesn't cost anything, it's free. And apparently I get a thousand dollars every time someone subscribes to the channel. Don't, don't ask me how the economics of that works. All I know is that the money's coming in guys. Total disclosure, I am a multi-millionaire. And the money just keeps coming in. DCS, uh, yeah, there's a DCS sale on now, guys. My man Darren points out on YouTube. I will donate more if you give me the biggest shout out ever, says Jack. How did I do that, Jack? My main man, Jack Bennett. On YouTube, looks like he's an Arsenal fan or something like that. Sorry, dude. I, sorry if you're not an Arsenal fan. I don't know my football teams. Is that AC Milan or something like that? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm not really much of a football guy. But yeah, Jack's already donated sixty pounds to the charity website. So he's a goddamn legend, as far as I'm concerned. What's up, Lazy Seals joined us as well. Welcome, Lazy. Fucking buster. Barcelona. So I knew it was a, I knew it was one of those. Sorry, dude. I'm not much of a football fan. I watch rugby because it's a real man's game. Hey, Aberdeen Aviation's joined us on. YouTube, welcome along Aberdeen Aviation, we're just in your neck of the woods now. Just past the Stonehaven VRP, we're heading to land at the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary with a patient that's been involved in a road traffic accident. Weather's becoming inclement. My man Jack loves cricket! Roger that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Apache on DCS as well, Bandara. I don't know how they're going to model the... Because um, if you know anything about the Apache, you'll know that the the pilot's sitting in the back. I think I'm, I'm, I think both pilots, actually. They have the monocle. So it, it displays HUD information, essentially, up on one eye only. I don't know how they're going to model that in DCS. All I know is I'm looking forward to it. All right, I've never landed here before at the hospital, guys. But according to the map, we're getting close. I don't know if we're landing on a rooftop or if we're landing on a, on ground level. Hey Mark, greetings from Oz. Good to see you Mark, you just waiting on a mate? Welcome on board sir, good to see you. Struth, all the way from Oz. Good to see you my friend. Greetings from Scotland. It doesn't show me when people donate Speedbird unfortunately no. I don't have the ability to check when people donate on the charity website. I only get alerts when people donate to me personally. But like I said, guys, I'll just spend your money on prostitutes and drugs. So, yeah, don't don't donate any money to me this stream, guys. Let's get some money in for the 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 UK air ambulance charities. Like I've already said a few times, I'm a multi-millionaire, guys. Let's get that money into charity. Do 
uh, Geo, oh shit, the weather's becoming bad. Geo says, used to be able to land at the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary with the Puma helicopters and S-92s if there was an onboard emergency, but wasn't allowed to take off again. How the fuck do you get out? Fine to pull in a tiny pad, but the, kind of, oh shit. Oh no, dude. All right, slow down, slow down. Mega slow down. Panic settling in, guys. It's going to go IMC at low level. That is not good. All right, let me bleed off some speed here. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to come all this way and crash, bro. Luckily, my patient in the back's heavily sedated. Alright, trim reset. I'm going to take the gear down now. I really need to spend some time, when I get some time, practicing IMC in a helicopter. In my opinion, it's definitely one of the hardest things you can do, especially when you're down below 50 knots. Alright, how the fuck am I going to get to this hospital? It's over there somewhere. Alright, I'm going to go this way down towards the sea. See if we can find a, a, a way around. How long have I got? We've got 27 minutes to work it out. Yeah, Darren, the reason why we didn't go to Nine Wells, though, is because um, there's a, a VATSIM event. A VATSIM flying at Aberdeen Airport, which is why we came up here. Oscar says, Maverick Daddy. Sorry, son, I am not your father. I mean, me and your mum did have sex, Oscar. But we didn't do it in the baby-making hole. Let's see if we can go further left here. Most helicopters have a minimum IFR speed of around 50, 60 knots. Yeah, exactly, Geo. It's just, it's, for me personally, dude, I, I, I'll put my hands up and admit, dude, as soon as I go IMC in a helicopter, I instantly start panicking straight away. It's, it's so fucking hard, it's so disorientating, as I'm sure as a, as a real helicopter pilot, bro, you can appreciate it a lot more than I do. But yeah, it's super fucking difficult. Hand flying a helicopter with no visibility below 50 knots. Fucking terrifying. Some people may be thinking, well, why is it so hard below 50 knots? Above 50 knots, the aircraft doesn't want to spin left or right, depending on which power pedal you need, which type of helicopter you're flying. Because the, the airflow moving down the fuselage keeps the aircraft pointing in a straight line. But when you come down below 50 knots, you lose that streamlining effect. And um, at that point, it's really important to be looking at your, your HSI and the compasses you have on board to tell if the aircraft's starting to rotate around. Right, the hospital should be here somewhere. Does anybody know where it is? The gear's down. Let's get the RPM up to 102% in preparation for landing. It should be somewhere close on the right hand side, guys. It's just south of runway 34 at Aberdeen, says Aberdeen Aviation on YouTube. Roger. Sorry, I'm way too low than it would be in real life here. We'll come up a little bit. Is that a high-rise building or am I landing? Hold on, let me zoom in on this map. Oh, I need to get a trim in for this. Alright, fly with the left hand. Alright, should be straight ahead up where these buildings are. Geo says it's an east-west field with a pad. Roger. Alright, on my map it says it's somewhere just up here on the right hand side. One of the horrible things about flying in bad weather, bad visibility in X-Plane is there's not really any good transition into the clouds. One minute you're not in the clouds, the next second, boom! You're in the clouds, baby! Alright, that looks like a field. Oh, I think I see a helipad. I see a helipad, guys, and a windsock! Woohoo! 
All right, drone RPM is set to 102%. The gear is down. The engine RPM is good. The wind is 090 at 14 knots. Oh, this is actually a, a good angle to come in from here. All right, so the nose is in the wind now. So let's just keep this forward trend coming down. Happy with the rate of descent. Happy with the engine. The gear is down. Visual on the windsock. Wind's coming straight down where we're approaching from. Come right so I don't fly over this poor guy's house. Alright, engine RPM's good, roller RPM is good, the gear is down. Well outside the BRS envelope here. Settle any ground effect. Oh, I'm on the ground already apparently. There's the ground. Touching down. Woo! We made it, guys! I'm not sure how accurate the weather is here. Let me just get a weather report for Aberdeen. Dot Metar EGPD. Broken at 700, yeah. Overcast at 1,300. Uh, scattered uh, at 400, yeah. So the weather. Actually, apparently, it is like this in real life right now in um, Aberdeen, guys. Right. Whoa, well done. Whoa. This patient has a real chance of making it now that we've got him here. Great landing, by the way. Thanks, big dog. End mesh. Yes, I'm sure. Right, the weather situation makes our um, next rescue op options rather limited, guys. Rather limited indeed. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it into the highlands from here. So... Why don't we head north up the coast? That's what we'll try and do. So we'll bring up the heli rescue mod. I'll select um, 20 miles minimum, 30 miles maximum. Uh, we'll select the course from 340, anywhere between 340 and 300 from our current position. And we'll bring the patient back here to the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. Create mission. Someone's fallen off a roof. Let's see where it is before we accept the mission first. It's up near Turriff. So we're going north up towards Peterhead. It's 25 miles away. Alright, we'll do this one. We'll see how we get on. So we've got someone that's fallen from a roof. It's an urban incident. A man has suffered a broken back after falling from the roof of a building he was working on. Paramedics are on scene at this time, however, do not want to move the casualty by road and risk making the casualty's injuries worse. We have been tasked with transporting the patient as smoothly as possible to the waiting trauma team. The paramedics are awaiting our arrival and have the patient sedated and ready to fly. Let's get moving as soon as you are ready, Roger. We have 34 minutes to make it there. I'll show you guys where we're going on the map. So here we are here in Aberdeen. It is pretty much to the west of Peterhead, which is up here. We're looking for a place called Turriff, which is there. So it's in between Turriff and Peterhead. So it's somewhere near Cummingston. Could have named that better. That's what that says, isn't it? Cumming. No jokes, please, guys. So we're heading up here. Looks like the... Uh, how high is the terrain up here? 150 metres. See some wind farms and stuff like that. So what we'll probably do is route out over the water just to get under the uh, the low visibility cloud and then we'll route far up the coast to Peterhead and then we'll try and 
IFR, I follow roads. We'll try and shoot in McToon, scoot in McToon. Up to Cum Cummy. Cummy McCummerston. Well, how the fuck are you supposed to say that, bro? Cummingston. No respect. Yeah, much resist. That is how I see it, says Aberdeen, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure the kids have a great laugh at that. Right, I'm hoping the weather gets better, guys, so we can actually fly into the mountains. I am not IMC rated in a helicopter, so I have to stay VFR. So we'll try this one and see if we can make it up to there. Right, so we need the uh, rotor RPM back up to 100%. Engine 1, engine 2, beep, beep, beep. Okay, we have settled in at 100%. Now we're going to be doing a category alpha departure back and to the left, so we need the rotor RPM. We need the rotor RPM set to 102%. Uh, that looks like 104. There's 102. Okay, we have accepted the mission. We have 34 minutes to get there. Good on the left. We are good on the right. Looks like we're on a bit of a hill here, facing down the way. Bit of a hill. So we get the nose wheel up off the ground first. Oh, it's wet and windy. All right. Whoa! Whoa, why is this happening? What the fuck? I'm full left pedal, bro. I'm full left pedal, bro. What the fuck? Alright, get it back down. Get it back down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck happened there? What's the wind? The wind's only at five knots. Why would that happen? Left pedal is doing nothing. What the fuck is going on here, guys? Do I still have a tail rotor? No! What the fuck? <laughs> what happened to my tail rotor? We're trying to arm it over here. How the fuck did that happen? Maybe I put the... Can this go down? I'm just checking to see if that... Let's go through the ground. That's a bit of a design flaw. All right. Apparently, when I um, I think I so I either put the it's either a bug or more than likely I've maybe put the nose up too high because we were down on a slat like that. I've maybe put the nose up too high and struck the tail off the ground. Edit failures, maybe. Fix all systems. Yeah, it must have been what's happened. Look, we'll do it again. So, we were facing this way. I don't even think I pitched up that much. So it looks like this little metal bit on the back isn't modelled to stop a tail strike. I'm just going to see if it will happen again. Yeah, that's what it was like. Tail strike, guys. 
need to remember if I'm on a hill I can't um so this little bar is supposed to stop that from happening it looks like there's not a collision model on this helicopter for that so that is what happened guys mystery solved Set mean time, I don't know why I did that. Fix all systems. Oh, chaotic is a t Dude, it's a post today! Bro, that's why I'm fucking here. I've showed up 24 hours too early. Hold on, let me have a look. Up and coming bat some events. Where is it? I thought it was today, bro. That's why I'm fucking here. <laughs> Sunday, are you fucking God damn it guys, I'm fucking twenty-four hours too early. I'm wondering why there's no fucking ATC. <laughs> I'm thinking, guys, it's supposed to be a helicopter event here. Why is there no ATC? Because I'm fucking 24 hours too early. But I want to try that take off again. Right, so how far back up can we get this? Right, that's good there. Alright, clear on the left, clear on the right. Let's come back and left. I was going to start flying straight forward there. God damn it, Maverick. I feel sheepish now, you bad boy. Luckily, we have very good uh, ground mechanics here at Aberdeen, guys. Just takes a little minute. Get a tail rotor replaced. Alright, engine, uh, sorry, rotor RPM back to 100% checked. Gears up, through ETL. Start trimming, start winning. Alright, let's head out to sea. God damn it, I was sure it was today. I was sure this Vatsim event was today. Bob Saga. What a fucking buster. Hey Robert, welcome along. We're using the um, UK Air Ambulance mod, Robert. Get yourself over to charityscenery.co.uk to check it out, my friend. The drugs are getting, yeah. <laughs> Adam says, is that those drugs getting to you? I think so, brother. Those goddamn drugs. I knew they would get me one day. I don't know why I thought it was today.
Right, so we're trying to tiptoe under the clouds just so we get a little bit further north. Probably up towards Pier Head, and then from Pier Head we'll start heading west to try and see if we can uh, get under the weather and make it to the incident. What's up, Mike? You buster, welcome along. Yeah, guys, if you're interested in getting this mod, check out charityscenery.co.uk. It is payware. But it'll only cost you like one pound. And all the money that um, gets raised goes to charity, guys. Look at the wind pushing us around. That's why I love X-Plane for flying helicopters. It's so much better than, D than DCS in my opinion. The, the way that the aircraft uh, interacts with the environment is so much better than DCS, but if you want to shoot at stuff, DCS is definitely 100% still the place to be for combat helicopters, but if you actually just want to f fly around um, interact with the environment and the elements, X-Plane is definitely the place to be. What's up, Wojnik? Welcome back. Hey, Matson, welcome on board. Yeah, bro. Flew all the way up here, dude. I fucking arrived 24 hours early. God damn it, Maverick. You came too early. I've heard that before. Right now we got like a 20 knot crosswind hitting us from the right hand side. Uh, Lazy's asking, what is the event? So it's an, an ATC event, Lazy. So it's basically like a fly-in. Hold on, I'll post a link up here. Here it is here, Aberdeen Heliops. So if you fly helicopters on Vatsim, guys, check this link out. Hey, what's up, Heli Pilot, you fucking buster? I did see that, bro. Heli Pilot's the guy that actually runs the charityscenery.co.uk website, dude. We've raised over a hundred pounds already this stream, brother. We've had um, some pretty generous donations to the website already, apparently. I am thinking about trying a cheeky little foray in here. I'm up here, Craig, because I thought the Vatsim fly-in was today. And as per usual, I fucking came too early. You can never make a woman happy, guys. Alright, this little river here actually runs almost up towards right where we want to go, so I'm going to try and see if we can make it up there. I really should start slowing down. How long have we got? We've got 27 minutes to make it there. Coming up for a town called Elon. Maybe that's where Elon Musk should move to. Elon. So I'm going to try and follow this uh, river up. The valleys get a little tight, says uh, Geo Roger. Double says, mixed reviews on the DCS Gazelle. Any thoughts as the DCS sale is on? 
The guy's also a good helicopter, dude. It's quite, there is, it's quite polarizing, though. Some people think it's not realistic. Other people I've heard um, from pilots that real gazelle pilots that have flown it have said that it's not very good until you sort out the the curves on it. Which, to be honest, if you're trying to fly any aircraft in DCS without putting curves on your joystick, in my opinion, you're doing it wrong. I would definitely recommend the gazelle for DCS, though. It's, I think, personally, in my opinion, I think it's the most fun you can have in DCS is flying the gazelle and shooting down enemy jets. You do need to put some curves on your joystick to make the aircraft less twitchy. But um, yeah, if, if you if you don't have the DCS Gazelle, guys, I, in my opinion, it's definitely worth the money. Especially in a sale. Especially in a sale. It's a lot of fun to fly. A lot of fun. And like I said, there's nothing more satisfying than being in a tiny little helicopter and shooting down some fucking buster in an SU-27 or something like that, dude. It's fucking hilarious. So, yeah, Dobbo. Get yourself the DCS Gazelle in the sale, bro. I, I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Especially if you fly it in multiplayer. But just remember to put some curves on your joystick, because it's a little bit of a crazy horse if you don't have any curves. But like I said, you really shouldn't be flying any aircraft in DCS without curves on your stick. Eight days left on a free trial. Yeah, fly it for free, bro. That's a great idea. Get yourself in a multiplayer server and shoot down some jets. It's the most fun you can have in DCS. I suppose the good thing about flying up here in a helicopter is at least, at least we're already in Aberdeen for when the event starts tomorrow. Geo says the tow missiles are lots of fun to use. Yeah, I've not really spent a lot of time in the tow version. Pretty much every time I fly the Gazelle, it's always the Mistral version with the air-to-air -air missiles. I fucking love that, dude. It's so much fun. Heli Pilot says, Maverick, I'm flying the Huey in Dubai next weekend in real life. I've been spending some time in the Huey in DCS. Nice, bro. Are you able to record any of the footage? That would be awesome. My man Dobble actually sent me a link about a guy that um, has a Huey in the United Kingdom. You pay £600 per passenger and they take you up for a joyride in it. I'm not 100% sure if I'm down, but... You're going to put it on the channel? Nice, guys! So check that out. If you're watching on uh, Twitch, make sure you click on Heli Pilot's name. Follow his channel, he is a helicopter pilot in real life. I've actually got quite a few helicopter, real life helicopter pilots in the stream now, guys. But he's another real world helicopter pilot. Based out in Dubai at the moment. And he's going to be flying the, the, the Huey in real life next weekend. Lucky son of a bitch. Alright, we're trying to thread the needle through these clouds now. We're probably about 10 miles away. Turn those primers off. I didn't do. Are you coming to the fly in today, Lazy? The fly past for Osa. We're hosting a a memorial fly past for. Unfortunately, one of the one of the sorry the most. Um, well-known K-50 pilots in the DCS community, unfortunately, he was killed by the COVID virus. So we're hosting a like a memorial flyby in his honour today. I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be doing air traffic control for it.
Welcome back, King Harry. Alright, the weather's actually okay up here, dudes. We'll climb up a little bit now, get the aircraft up above 500 R. It's all, it's, I thought you were supposed to be a fucking community manager. <laughs> it's posted in the ED forums. Ah, Eagle Dynamics, finger on the fucking pulse as usual, eh? It's uh, today at 1800 Zulu. But yeah, you can come along, bro. You're more than welcome to come and join us. Oh, you're not a community manager, Roger. Sorry, dude. I thought you were one of the community managers for ED. Is it just a uh, big Nui and fucking what's his face, Sif? Shit spawn. I really like Big Nui. I'm sure that Sif's a, a nice guy, but he's got no fucking idea what he's doing. But at least they got Big Nui on there. He's a good guy that really knows what he's doing. I really don't think Nine Line does a good job at all, though. A community manager that has no fucking presence in the community. Good job, Eagle Dynamics. Big Nui is a hero, bro, yeah. I got a lot of time for him. Okay, we're just coming up to... Cumniston. There's a... Wind farms that we were talking about we've seen on the map. Weather's looking okay, we're looking for flashing lights. Instant should be somewhere very close. There it is there, I see an ambulance. Woo! So it looks like that's the roof the guys fell off. I see an ambulance and an ambulance car there. We'll start heading on down. Doesn't look like there's any high tension wires or anything around about there, but we'll take a quick orbit over it just to double check. Weather's actually clearing up quite nice up here. Alright, a hundred knots, gear down. Trim reset. Oh shit. I don't see any high tension wires or poles or trees or obstacles, so we're looking good. Roll out here. The wind is 100 at 18 knots. So come back around. Beep the rotor RPM up to 102%. Checked. The gear is down 3 greens. Engine RPM is good. So I should be able to land on the road. Yeah, we'll touch down on the road. I need to be careful with the rotor on that uh, little outbuild in there. Maybe just go past the ambulance. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to go past the ambulance and land just a little bit up the road from it. Alright, power's good. Happy with the rate of descent. Rotor RPM is good. The gear is down. Keep this forward trend coming. This is looking good. Wind slightly to the right. That's blustery AF. Alright, should be clear of that car now. Quick look to the left. I'm just going to stabilise here for a little second and visually verify that I'm not going to hit that car. There's the ambulance crew. Come a little bit further forward. Just get a little bit closer to this building. Should be well clear of the ambulance now. I want the main gear actually on the road. Looking good here. Coming forward. Settle any ground effect. Three, two... One. Touching down. Anytime now. There we go. Alright. 
main gears on the ground. We've got the nose wheel down now. And gently lower the collective, center the cyclic, and the pedals. Woo! Alright guys, just while we're boarding this patient, I need to go and quickly visit the little boys room. I will be right back. Now. Andrew wants to take money on which Right. Alright, well done. The patient is in. He looks stable, but the medics are worried about internal bleeding uh, as he has broken ribs. On top of his back injury, we'll need to get him to the hospital quickly, but remember he has a broken back. Any sudden jolts would be very bad news for him, so be very careful. Alright, we have 34 minutes to make it there. Let's get the uh, engines up to idle stop. Brakes on, because we're rolling backwards down a hill. Hey Colt, welcome along. What's up Scotty, good to see you brother, welcome. In your um, mod, do you need to land within a certain radius of the incident, asks Geo. Yes, brother. Which is why I, I tend to land quite close. I don't know how close you need to be, though, is the honest answer, Rude. I don't know how close in metres you have to be, but that's why I always tend to land closer than they maybe would do in real life. Or closer than you would do in real life, should I say. I'm pretty sure the ambulance crew would have something to say about the welfare of their patient with a helicopter getting this close. Welcome back, Dark Side. All right, so we're taking this casually back to the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. We're going to head out towards the coast in case we get caught out again with the weather. What we'll do is we'll actually head to direct towards Peterhead. Roar RPM to 100%. Checked. Good on the left, good on the right. Roar RPM to 102%. Checked. Alright, engine's good, road RPM is good, clear on both sides, the doors are shut. We'll get the nose wheel off the ground first. Stabilise. And we'll bring the right wheel off the ground first. Stabilise any ground effect here. It's a little windy. Okay, we'll come back and right this time. It's very windy up here.
Okay, 300 feet. Stick forward. Pedal right. Gear up. Roar RPM back to 100%. We're through ETL. Checked. And we are flying away. Collectors coming in. Pedals are neutral. Climb up a little bit and we'll get the autopilot in here. Make sure we get up above 500 R. Yeah, Helipilot makes a good point there. I'm not sure if that's modelled in X-Plane though, bro. Oh. Helipilot on. Twitch says you should be careful landing next to a building or in confined spaces. The airflow over the disc becomes bad and the disc loses lift. A bit like VRS. Yeah, that's what happened to the guys on the, um, the mission to kill Bin Laden. That's how that helicopter crashed, as I'm sure you're well aware. Alright, patient cover score still 39 out of 40, so that was a good transition. Ellie says, no, I was not aware what happened. So basically, the um, Special Forces helicopters, there was two of them. Let's wait till the helicopter gets a bit far away. So the compound where Osama Bin Laden was hiding... Um, had, I think they were like 20 feet high, 15 or 20 feet high walls all, all around the compound. And they came in and tried to land inside the compound. The first helicopter made it, um, he got in, the second helicopter came in and he was a little bit slower because the first helicopter was already sort of in the way. So he came in and tried to basically stabilise and because the, they were landing a compound with big 20 feet high walls all the way around it, as you know, the helicopter's dragging all the air down. And so all that all that air that would normally start rotoring out and away from the helicopter basically just started rotoring back and coming back down on top of the helicopter. And they just, they fucking, they, they, they couldn't, they didn't have enough lift and they, they crashed, crashed into the side of the wall. And the, the special forces guys had to actually blow the helicopter up with C4 so that... Um, it wouldn't fall into enemy hands. Alright, looks like we're heading back in the clouds again. I'm going to bring the aircraft down a little bit. Awesome. Bonjour, mon ami. Patch. Salut. Ça va? Je n'ai pas parlé vous français, mon ami. Je suis écossais. Yeah, that's why, bro. That is why that happened. Hey, Nemesis, greetings from the east side of Scotland. Good to see you, sir. We're actually on the east side of Scotland now. We're heading to Aberdeen. Heading to the northeast side. Right, going to start dialing out towards the sea now because I don't want to get trapped in the cloud. Trim his life. So in real life, rescue helicopters, unless they're military helicopters, always fly above 500 feet uh, R, 500 ra um, radal, unless the weather's like this and they have to go lower, which is why we are down at 300 R at the moment. So I'm sure the neighbours wouldn't be too pleased with us, but hey, sorry bro, I can't fly in the clouds. I am also fine, my friend. It's just we magnifique. 
As, uh, Andrea asks, is a helicopter always flying tilty like that? Yes, it is. Just because of the way that the torque works because of the engine. So helicopters never fly straight like planes. They always have a little bit of an angle on. There's always sort of one side of the fuselage which is more into the wind, the, uh, the airstream than the other. Even when there's no wind. Even when there is absolutely no wind. The aircraft is always crabbing just a little bit. Crabby poos. Another thing for you to watch out, Andrea, is um, if you look very closely, if you watch real helico if helicopters in real life take off and land, you'll notice that one side of the aircraft always comes off the ground before the other side of the aircraft. So it doesn't matter if the aircraft has skids or landing gear, one side always comes up before the other. You, you won't really ever see pilots in real life lift, like the aircraft won't ever come up into the air like both sides of the aircraft at the same time. That doesn't really happen. And again, that's to do with the, the torque effect on, because we have the, the rotor spinning up above the aircraft. And so it depends on which way the rotor spin for which side it comes up into the air first. So in this particular aircraft, we bring the right-hand side of the aircraft into the air first, depending on what the wind's doing. If there's no wind, it's always the right-hand side, but sometimes if the wind's hitting us from a particular direction, it may be the other side, but... But if the blades were spinning around the other way, we would lift the left-hand side of the aircraft up into the ground first. And the same with coming into land as well. You'll see that real helicopter pilots do that as well. That I mean, it's not... I mean, they're not coming into land fucking sideways, but if you look very closely, you'll see that one... One side of the aircraft always touches the ground before the other, or one side of the aircraft leaves the ground before the other. And like my main man Heli Pilot says on Twitch, that is to reduce the risk of dynamic rollover. Alright, happy to jump in here. Green Smoke asks on YouTube if I'm trying to EC 135 version 5. Yeah, I have, sir. I wasn't impressed. I didn't like it at all. Which is why I'm back to flying the payware helicopters. In my experience on X-Plane, the freeware helicopters look fantastic, sound fantastic, but the flight models are fucking terrible. So I tend to stick with the payware stuff, my friend, just because the, the flight models feel a lot better. And it's a great shame because I really love the Eurocopter 135. It's one of my favourite helicopters. I believe that the same company that got brought out the Augusta 139 are working on the Augusta 169, if I've said that right. So I'm looking forward to that aircraft coming out. But I wish somebody would do a payware Eurocopter 135 or, or even better, 145. We actually do, the Scottish Air Ambulance Service actually have an EC 145 in real life. So I would love to fly that aircraft, but... Yeah, not impressed with that freeware flight model at all, sir. It was basic as fuck. Have I tried the H60 G Hawk? Asks Ducky Duck. First of all, Ducky Duck, that's a fantastic name, sir. Thanks for joining us on YouTube. I haven't, bro, no. I don't, like I just said, I tend to not fly um, freeware aircraft. Charles on YouTube said, that's not 100% true. The big tyre R22 has a ship flight model and is payware. There you go. Alright, we should be doing well for time. Yeah, we've got 24 minutes. Patient comfort score is still 39 out of 40. Green smoke added, look in here. Apparently it's just way too complicated, dude. The EC 135 is a very complicated aircraft. It has very complicated SAS systems on board as well. And I think for the the size of companies that develop helicopters for X Plane tends to just be like one, two, or three employees. I think that, that, that from what I, my understanding is that that's too much of an undertaking for a, a small company like that 
to do a realistic payware mod for the EC135 or 145 just because the the avionics are pretty complicated, the stability augmentation systems, the SAS systems are very complex as well. But hopefully maybe a company with some more resources could do it, develop it in the future. The problem is with helicopter simulation on games like X-Plane, it's not a huge market. Most people fly fixed wing on flight simulators. Flying helicopters is obviously very, very cool, but it doesn't have anywhere near the size of market share that the fixed wing guys do. So again, it really just comes down to money and stuff like that. Claxia says halos are fun on, on Twitch. You're absolutely right, dude. And they're more challenging than flying fixed wing as well, but um, yeah, there just isn't the market for it. Which is a shame. The weather in Dundee sucks! What about the MD-901 for X-Plane 11? I don't think I've flown that yet, bro. Oh! No, I'm thinking of the... What's the one with the... Is it the 980? The one that has the exhaust rather than the tail rotor. 982 or something like that. The MD-82 or 982 or something. Gorgeous helicopter. It's actually one of the London Hems helicopters in real life. It is available for X-Plane 10. I fell into the trap, I bought it thinking you can fly it on X-Plane 11. You cannot fly it on X-Plane 11, guys. Yeah, don't buy it, Charles. It's a bit of a trap. It's only compatible with X-Plane 10, not X-Plane 11. Alright, we're approaching the city centre of Aberdeen and we start slowing the aircraft down now. Patient comfort score is still 39 out of 40, so this guy's back is still in good shape. How much does my setup cost? Not a lot at all, bro. My, my PC is quite expensive. But my joystick only costs 40, 40 bucks. And I bought my throttle separately on eBay for about 25 bucks. So not expensive at all, my friend. There's the helipad down there. The wind is still coming from the east. Gently start slowing the aircraft down. Head out to the west and it will come back around and approach on this road. Take a quick trim reset here. Got it. Gear down now. Looks like the sun's burning through this cloud a little bit, which is good for me. Alright. Rotor RPM to 102%. Patient comfort score now 37 out of 40. A little bump just cost me a little bit there. Alright, engine RPM is good. Rotor RPM is good. Start decelerating down towards the pad. We are now down below ETL. I see the pad over there on the left hand side. I'm lined up too far right. I'll start correcting for that now. The wind is 090 at 14 knots. The gear's down, free greens, engine RPM's good, rotor RPM is good. We're a little fast at this stage, we're very fast at this stage in fact. Get down below dead man's curve. Start squaring up on the pad now, keep the forward trend coming. Careful with the VRS envelope. Lots of left pedal coming in now. Quick scratch of the nose. Right, 
Right, stabilize. Remember that we are on a hill. Stabilize on a ground effect and gently put the aircraft on the ground. Main wheels down. Gently put the nose wheel on the ground. Gently lower the collective, centre the cyclic and the pedals. The patient has been transferred to the trauma team. The, a great work. What a way to show off how much of a lifesaver this helicopter can be. Another one saved. Top job. We arrived with a patient comfort score of 37 out of 40. Nice. Right, so I think we'll get the aircraft over to Aberdeen and position for the flight for tomorrow. Idle stop set. Oh, it does. Godfrey says it does work with X Plane 11 if you modify the files, but it's a hassle, Roger. Yeah, to be honest, bro, I'm not really interested. If it's an X Plane 10 sort of model and flight model, then it can't really be too recent, so I think I'll just give that a skip. Looking forward to the Augusta 169 coming out, though. Hopefully that'll come out this year. Alright, rotor RPM is building, engine RPM is good. 100% selected. Clear on the left, clear on the right. We'll take 102%. Set. Force trim is on. Right, need to be careful I don't lose the tail rotor this time. Nose wheel up. And we'll take the left side off the ground first, is that right? Stabilise. Back and right. So where's the actual hospital? Surely it's not that, that's like a barn. <laughs> Where is the actual hospital, guys? Stick forward, pedal left. Gear up. Roar RPM back to 100%. See if we can make it under the weather and get to Aberdeen. There is an aircraft on the ground at Aberdeen right now. He's not moving though, so I know he's not taxing out to the runway or getting... Certainly not on the runway anyway. Probably still on stand. Um, I am looking forward to the Chinook um, BGL, it says on Twitch. The Chinook's going to be amazing. I'm not sure like how how much we're going to be able to do with it on X-Plane. I really wish someone would do a fucking Chinook for DCS. I don't know why someone hasn't fucking done that already. Surely that this doesn't have any weapon systems on board, so... Surely that can... I mean, I'm not a software developer. So I don't know how difficult it would be, but as, just as a pure layman... Surely doing like a transport helicopter for DCS can't be too fucking complex. Welcome back, Eve. Good to see you, brother. Will I do DCS in future? Yeah, I'm... I've not quit DCS. I've just stopped really flying multiplayer on it for now because the it's just a shower of shape. I'll take a quick bomb down the runway here. No one on approach. This is the busiest, busiest heliport in the world. Aberdeen Airport. Hashtag tower flyby. Hashtag, oh shit. Hashtag get back in the aircraft. There's a guy that we've seen on the ground. Looks like someone going out for a little VFR jolly.
a twin engine prop, he may be doing some IFR. Alright, gear down. Trim reset. The wind is 090 at 14 knots. We're going to stay with this guy's way so he can get onto the runway. I'm not sure how happy air traffic control would be with me doing this, but there's no ATC on, so fuck them. Rotor RPM to 102%, checked. Nice looking little helipad over here. Little Johnny Square Plus here. Get the nose into wind. Alright, nose is into wind. Don't crash, Maverick. Careful with VRS here. I will have a little look around, I've never really been here. I'll have a little scope around the airport. I want to stay out of the way of that guy so that he's, he can safely take off. So we'll stay on this side of the airfield. We'll have a little snoop around. Go ahead, snoop around. Hey, Chaotic says, that's me in the plane. Scottish, it's a Scottish Air Ambulance plane. Good to see you, sir. Chaotic is on the stream on YouTube, guys. He's just about to head out in the air ambulance fixed wing. Godspeed to you. See if we can see him take off. There he is there, guys. Godspeed to you, Chaotic. There he goes, guys. There he goes. Race him. Godspeed to you, friend. Have a safe trip. Fox 2. Alright, don't crash it, don't crash it, don't crash it, don't crash it, don't crash it. Full right pedal. I think this is the Bristol terminal here on the left. I'm not 100% sure though. My Aberdeen Airport geology. Geology? Geography is not fantastic. I do know it's the busiest heliport in the world though. See if we can squeeze in a little wing over here to the left. 100 plus knots. Let's go up, take the collective off. Up, 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 straight and level. Full left pedal. Don't crash it, don't crash it, don't crash it! That was a little bit too that was a little bit too aggressive on the uh, side click there, but we managed to recover there without causing any damage to the aircraft. Gear is still down. Watch out for that pole. Watch out for the tower, bro. Reg X. <laughs> uh, it looks like where most of the helicopters are parked. We'll go down and find a little place to cozy on down. This looks like maybe where fixed wing would park. Yeah, these look like actual fixed wing stands. Go 
Oh, don't crash it. I did see quite a lot of helipads on the other side of this tower here, so we'll scoot and make on over. Too low. There's a lot of wind socks up here, so this is probably where helicopters land. I see helipads and stuff. I was expecting to see a lot more helipads for the busiest heliport in the world. Maybe I'm just at the wrong place. Well, these are cool little things. What are these jets called? All right, we'll just head over. We've seen we flew over loads of helipads around about this building here, so we'll just go over there. Hey, Pratik, welcome to you, my friend. We're just having a little perusal around. I've never really been up to Aberdeen Airport before, so just having a little snoop around. Checking out that checkout. Go ahead, snoop around. Oh, I'm just going to land here. Ah, maybe a bit too close to that building. That may be for little baby helicopters. It looks like a vision jet. Thanks, Gil. Where am I supposed to be? There's a circle. Alright, nose is any wind. Let me quickly check the chart once we're down and check where I'm we're supposed to have landed. Touching down. Oh, my arm is fucking sore. Night vision. Why have I got nine? Oh, NHV helicopters aprons on the other side. The Bristol apron is down there. I'm going to check that out. There's the main apron. That must have been where I was. So where do I want to go? Down to the right, down Delta, onto the Bristol apron. Should be down there somewhere. I think I missed it. Yep. It's over this way. Traffic. Traffic. Actual fucking traffic. Hey, this is what I was expecting. Lots of helipads and stuff. Oh, don't crash it. Hey, 
touching down. Boop. Oh. I need to work on my rotator cuff. Alright guys, we saved some lives! We saved some lives. Hey Meredith, good morning to you, you buster. Good to see you, young lady. I hope you're well. I'm just wrapping up this stream for now. I'm gonna go and take a bit of a break and get some brunch and I'll come back. I think we'll do a little bit of an ARMA stream, guys. I'm quite in a mood for flying some helicopters. Um, later on this evening, around about 1800 Zulu, we're gonna be doing a tribute. We're gonna be doing a, a memorial flight for unfortunately one of the uh, guys that was quite prevalent in the DCS community, especially in the helicopter community. He was a fantastic K-50 pilot called W Rag Osa. Unfortunately, we lost him to the coronavirus a couple of weeks ago, so we're doing a memorial flying on the 104 server um, in his honour. So I'm going to be streaming that. I think I'm uh, designated as the air traffic controller as well. So I'm going to be doing some uh, ad hoc DCS ATC. So tune in later on this evening, guys, if you can um, join us. I will see you guys in a little bit for um, some maybe some Arma Axe. Maybe some Arma Axe, I'm not really sure guys. I might change my mind. I am a delicate princess and I need to feel young, strong and beautiful to actually be able to stream. So, And to be honest, I'm a bit of a moody fucking bitch as well. So uh, I'm in a good mood right now. I might not be in a good mood in 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys when I see you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody that donated to the uh, Rex here. Good to see you Rex. Thank you to everybody who donated to the um, charity scenery.co.uk website. We managed to raise well over $100 on this stream thanks to your generosity. So thanks again, guys. Just a quick reminder, all the money goes to charity. None of us make any profit from this. So make sure you check out the website. And I will see you guys for the next stream. I'm not Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>